Ah, where we're going to, you might want to keep your uh, brain stuff a little pulled back. These people are a little squirrely Actually, in the head. I'll, I have been keeping my brain shit pulled back for quite a while now. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I'm not talking in your heads as much because I keep getting shit about how weird it is. I don't give a fuck about it. I actually yes, think you it's do. pretty you cool. you gave me shit about it. I give everybody shit about everything. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> she gestures with her imaginary class. <laughs> Do a nice regular old Go for it. stealth check. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, um, 21. <laughs> no, it's definitely not as bad as you thought. I thought it was a three, but it's a 16. That's a bit of a, <laughs> bit, bit of a range. It was weird. I did, so it looks weird with the yeah, light. Yeah, fair enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Just send a message to Orem. Orem! Yep. If you could turn into any animal, what would it be? Why are you like this, Mom? <laughs> I'm just making conversation. Sparrow. Sparrow, I guess. Who? Oh. Um, you wouldn't want to be like, um, like a bird of prey. Hey, I know it's not the question you asked, but I saw Treshy. What? <laughs> Where? What? How? Did he leave? Did I actually blow that one? I don't reply fast enough because I'm so freaked out. <laughs> Don't dare look over. <laughs> you look like madness. <laughs> okay, I wait until she jumps in my head again because I can't initiate anything. Did you see him leave? <laughs> Didn't leave. Smoke break on the roof. Maybe report to the others. Right. Right. Uh, okay, That's I will like connect to loud now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here we go. Oh. If you can hear me! Uh, we're in the Ands! That's an area of Bosserus! Ask around and you'll find it! We're at this, uh, we're at a street corner. Oh North and Main. North and Main. That's Nordenmon. <laughs> Nord- oh god, it's going to be lost. Nordmon. No, Nordmon. Can I, I can respond, right? You can. Fresh cut grass! You don't need to yell, it's in my head. Also, where's Imogen? Why isn't she messaging me? <laughs> we saw Treshy! <laughs> we saw Treshy. See you oh, soon! She- Oh, okay. she's, she's, she's still talking. <laughs> um, okay. This is also a place where people modify cars, so, you know. Oh. Sometimes you got something lying around. You never know. You know, FCG. Why? What has happened to your hands? Oh, I was fidgeting with my fountain pen, and it... It's all over she's you. Oh, no, there it gone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. It's one of her. Yes, I feel like maybe a fountain pen is the wrong uh, choice for me. Yeah. And a so so cool. a fountain pen feet. You got to be careful saying, with wild magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that is incredible. You totally blew yourself. Well done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He goes ahead and does this, and he watches like the two closest to the door, the large, like kind of beefy automatons, kind of <laughs> towards the front door. You have five seconds to go. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Oh, for sure, Murphy. These are kind we'll of. Take them. Both of them. Yeah. yeah. They're just one. Do, do we have that kind of? No, I don't. No, I got scratch. How? Because oh. he's been hoarding. Stuff that was supposed to go to the group. Be careful, you're gonna have to be accountable for the words of your mouth. <laughs> the words of your mouth? <laughs> In your head, you hear, what about these words? 
That's nice hair. Do you want to keep it this time? Oh. Oh. I think I look pretty good, bald. You don't scare me. I have some scratch. The Question. Base, yeah. What do you get when when you win? Is oh. anyone here a driver? Do you need oh, to have, drive I've these things? I've driven a bunch. You have any experience? It helps. <laughs> I have an experience around sleighs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could. You know that's a noun and a verb. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could. Sleigh. What's a verb? <laughs> okay. I just. I have so many questions. And uh, what? What were you doing with Bertie and Ollie? Well, they found me wandering around in the Feywild. Can you tell me <clears throat> about Bertie and Ollie? I think they might have been in trouble out there. Oh, but they were... They really wanted to come out this way, out into this realm. Well, they left because they were saving the world, which you probably knew that. I didn't. It's what my grandmother told me, which is why they had to leave, because they were on a very important mission to save this world. So I know that they wouldn't have stayed gone this long if, if it wasn't important. Huh. I mean, that's a Surprise to me. I, they didn't really ever talk to me about, you know, grand plans. But then again, I don't know how much time we actually spent with each other. It was enough that, well, I felt like they were family. Oh. That's so nice. Yeah. I, I'm kind of nervous to meet them. I feel I'm like I don't, I don't know them at all. Well, if you get to meet them new again for the first time, I mean, that's kind of exciting, isn't it? A fresh slate. Yeah, yeah, fresh slate. Um, is there anything I should say or, Just or? Just yourself. Okay. I mean, you know. I'm sure they'll be very happy to see you. Yeah. I I think they will be. <coughs> I think they will be. I know they will be. Yeah. It's, I just, this is just so unbelievable that we ran into each other and... I feel like it was destiny. I do too. I do too. I mean, I have... A postcard from Aeor from my parents. So that's a little weird. You what? Have a postcard I'm sorry, from what? Aeor? Yeah, the, all the postcards that I got. I told you guys this. What? From Aeor? Yeah. From Aeor? Well, I don't have so many. I have hundreds of postcards. What Aeor was ancient. Aeor 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 post office? Is, Sh show us one. Show us one. Oh, Did they. Yeah. Was it recent? I don't understand. It's all hundreds. From, from Aeor? Aeor? No. From <laughs> all over. All over. Because they traveled. <laughs> All Jesus. over the entire world. Do you have what it are they on gathering? <laughs> they need power sources. They're traveling all over the world. Are your parents? They might have been gone two years, years or ninety or. They just have. They've been doing something. But apparently, extremely important. Oh man. So, wait. And I you don't said know. That they, you left. They left because they were trying to save the world. <clears throat> yes. So they, they left a little bit is fuzzy because I was very young and my grandmother was there and they left me because they had to go do something and then my grandma always told me that they just had to it was just very important and I couldn't know but I got postcards this whole time. In including from Aeor or is that a miscommunication? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or just they like find it at like a vintage shop. They might have. I mean, who Can knows? Can we see it? If it's not somewhere that's real, like, 
Not somewhere that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's. That's merch that we sell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I didn't expect it to look been, so. It could have been a. It could have been a. Uh, <laughs> it could have been from a. a, a it took on the gods. A shop. And lost. You know. A, a, a novelty thing. I like a novelty shop. Oh, okay. They I mean, if it's. So I don't nice. even. I mean, from what it sounds Boy. like, this place is not even. Around anymore. Um, I just pull out all the postcards. Okay. Right. I mean, you guys can see they they went everywhere. What you can tell from the postcards, looking at them, is they are all handmade. Meaning there there isn't sort of like a, a gift shop, like a gift shop or or a printer set. Like like all of them are meticulously done by hand. Maybe made by your parents. Yeah, probably. Right? For you. Well, I don't know that. That don't. I mean, how else would you make a postcard? Someone would have you to think make it. Your mom it? and dad what were trying to tell you something in the postcards? Hmm? A deeper meaning? A code? <gasps> what Maybe is a history true? lesson or two? Or to deceive you about where they actually were? Or just a postcard? You also say, though, that time is like a, a <laughs> soup, right? And yeah. acts time. a little weird. Maybe. Time they, is a soup. What does the handwriting look like? Time and is are a weird there soup. stamps? It's a, <laughs> <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't stamps. They're what more, they're more like, they're more like colorful letters, with painting, like, like hand painted elements so of different cute. locations across Alexandria, and and a note on them. Like a little painting of the location, so you can mm -hmm. see what it looked like. Well, okay, okay, okay. The city of Aeor. Does it look like ruins, or does it look like a city that they painted? Uh, it lo it looks like a city. What, no, I'm, I mean, what I'm saying is, I think it's just a painting of her. What all I've these? heard about your home, and from, from you and yeah. from uh, others, is that time is slippery. Maybe they're been doing a little hopping around. You follow me? I follow you for sure, and I. What I, else you got in that I stack? I think that's entirely yeah, possible. Yeah, FCG read that I'm AOR sure, postcard and see if something pops yeah. out. Sure. I've got Can this I see the postcard sure. for some? For us? No. That one. But I've got maybe the Maybe use your fancy stack. lenses. Geleka machu pasel pito. I'm just kidding. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it just oh, looks life. like a postcard. Um, nothing? <laughs> nothing? <laughs> nothing? Yeah. Try to look harder. Okay. I will cast identify on it. Okay. This turns into something. It's a the postcard of storm giant strength. It is in fact a postcard of diversions. <laughs> postcard of diversions. You can keep sending it and sending it. <laughs> yeah, so, the edge. <laughs> so they're not magical. Identify definitely. It, it focuses more on the magical aspects of things. I will say, as as part of what you are, uh, you gather these are handmade and, and hand painted, uh, and all by the same handwriting. You guys, come on. There's something in the postcards to their daughter. Come what if on. what if you um, look in maybe like the first, first letter, letter of, each of one? everyone in a, and it spells a sentence and you can put it out in, in order that you and then it says something. It, can it's you always scan F. Your oh, Fern. <laughs> yeah. How about this, the first letter of the second word? Well, I mean, I don't. I doubt it. But I mean, maybe well, tonight when we rest, yes. someone can just take a couple uh, is, minutes yes. to just kind of look at them and see if there's any patterns. I. Love puzzles. Oh, I was great alone a lot, and so you know, little brain teaser. Sure. Fun. Okay. You are a puzzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if I could have everybody except for Erica leave the table. <gasps> oh. 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 Is this the first one of these? This campaign? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh. Wait, did you guys do this before? Yes. Yeah, that's the first. Other campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shh. Please, Please be careful. Stay. Please be careful. Hope you're still here when we get back. <laughs> Go out into the hall. Go out in the hall. Oh shit. Uh, how dare. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Okay, and.
As you step away from the conversation, kind of gently flicking the dark metallic ring on your finger, here in the still silent night, you feel that familiar cold, creeping sense like mythic tendrils reaching beyond layers and layers of time. You feel a presence creep into the back of your mind. A voice exhales. And you immediately remember the familiar voice of the Sorrow Lord Zathuda, bearer of the Lightless Flame and Grove Captain of the Unseelie Court. You. I wait in prickly silence for your report. My lord, you know that good work takes time. Have you located the Moontide Crown? Have you dealt with the Calloways? Are you aware that there is a daughter? Go on. She's been living here in the mortal realm for who knows how long. And these beautiful idiots that she keeps company with have led me right to the Calloways. So I could succeed where all of my rivals could not. I don't think you're the only one still on this job. Yes, but I'm the only one that's gotten success, that has results, and is the prettiest. I see no results yet. And your dalliance in this mortal realm slows you with distraction and weakness. I hope that I wasn't wrong in entrusting you with this task. Come on, my lord, there's so much to explore out here. Have you ever had a rumble? <laughs> Samanar grows impatient. You will not fail me, lest I find better use for you in one of your mirrors. Now, if you're this close, I expect the crown soon. You will have it, my lord. I will end the Calloway line. Very good. You feel the tether's release. That cold sense in the back of your throat gives way. Fuck. <sighs> I check the ring. It still points to the room next door. It still tugs gently in the direction of Fern Calloway. There's more in Terry Flicker. A riot of color passes over my face and then it's gone. And I lie down to sleep. Very well. We can send the rest of the folks back in if you don't mind. Get back in here! Come on! Long walk, long walk. That's okay. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm fine! Oh no, what happened? <laughs> it's fine! Nothing happened! Uh, You're alive? How many hit points do you have? Fine. Oh no. Did I'm you get assassined? I'm fine. Did anything <laughs> happen to you? Did you have a nightmare? Some people have nightmares. Did you barf water? Did I barf? Imogen. <gasps> no, no, what? Everyone leave oh, their no, 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 no. Dream journal. <laughs> You find yourself once again standing in the familiar field, but the greens of the grass that normally greet you have already passed. There is no looming storm in the distance. You stand within it already. You see the darkened clouds above, the red hues already consuming 
all but a brief glimmer of blue in the distance, the dark shadow of the farmhouse, barely visible at the cusp of the right end of your vision. You hear the echoing sound of your mother once more. Run! What do you do? I start spinning around. Do I see that figure that I saw before the last time I was here? You glance back around in the opposite direction of the farmhouse, and indeed, you see again the figure. You kind of focus in, looking through the bits of sand and dust and debris that blow past, and you can see the shape. Uh, lithe, built, uh, hard to discern where on the specter of gender it may lie, but it, you're almost certain it's feminine when you take more time to focus. Mother? The figure takes a step towards you. Who are you? It takes another step, and you begin to see emerging from the dust around it other figures, roughly the same height. You see amongst the kind of darkened leather armor uh, a bit of short gray hair that just kind of pushes to one side and ends outward to the left. Dark eyes, like a bird of prey, looking towards you. Does it look familiar at all? No. What's their expression like? Hard, focused, and a slight curl into a grin as a voice enters your mind. Hello. How interesting. Who are you? I say back. <laughs> Who are we? And as the other figures step up, you can see more and more of them, and more, dozens and dozens, wearing dark gray and black leather armor, all masks over their face except for the one central commander-type figure standing towards you as they all at once rush towards you. Oh. The wind picks up around you, and you wake up. As you come to consciousness, breathing, there's the faint opening across the various bits of cloth that maintain the exterior of this soft Raha Den outer wall. And there you can see the stars beyond, but a faint orangish hue that marks the sky. Uh, what? What do you mean? What do you mean, orangish hue marks the sky? Does it mean? Can I look out the window? Oh, can I look out the window? Yeah, you step up and carefully approach where the kind of flapping bits of sail-like material and fabric give way to the night sky and the horizon views of the Hellcatch. You can see the tops of the numerous buildings, the beautiful, chaotic, haphazard skyline of Vassarus. And there above, you can see Katha just finishing its descent across the way into the mountain range. And above, you can see the ruddy moon Ruidus on its daily rotations, growing closer towards its zenith, but where it normally sits in a dull brownish red coloration, here it is vibrant red. It's flaring. And it's at this moment you notice many others in the street are all kind of stopped and looking up towards it. These rare occasions. And just in that moment, the flare vanishes and it fades back to its Calm, ominous, red maroon hue. Can I go over? Is is everybody else asleep? I'd say I'm uh, sharpening my blade. You would be up sharpening your blades. <laughs> Can you draw? Uh, sure. Yeah. 
I grab, can I grab Lana's notebook that I know she keeps with her and, and hand it over to you and I start describing the face that I saw in my dream. I have a dream journal chapter. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I flip to that mm -hmm. then. Sure. Mm -hmm. This was in your dream? Yeah. Shoot, I should have been there for it. I, I, I still feel like we can... I can glean something, but anyway, describe before, uh, before it, it wears off. Uh, gosh, it, it was it was a, a figure. Uh, they had gray hair over to the side. I was uh, and I describe what do they what they look like. Was it like sharp features? Sharp features. Uh, now that you recall, just roll a perception check for uh, me. Like like we'll yeah. we'll say kind of like recalling the details that you could pull Dreams. from this dream. No, no, no. no. <laughs> just knowing how really stressed out you are, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna. Um, Cast calm emotions on you, okay, um, just to sort of settle you, and then also I'll, I'll hit you with a guidance. <laughs> well, this, this technically would be recollection of the dream, so the so guidance wouldn't help. With the okay, well, well I'll calm you so you can focus. Oh, 11. Perception. Yes. Eleven. Eleven. <sighs> In the <laughs> midst of the storm, you couldn't pick out too fine of features. There was something. Uh, they seemed sharp. The the, the chin. Came to a point, almost like a like a like a heart shaped face, uh, feature wise. Uh, you just remember the eyes being dark and cold and piercing, like a like a like a predatory creature about to pounce. Do I remember their armor? I remember the armor was was dark shades of leather, blacks and grays and uh, sharp everything. points, or was it just form fitting? Uh, very very tight to the body. Um, definitely designed for movement. I'll tell you all about. I do my best to get it down to paper. Does it look like what I saw? <laughs> I don't know. It's a police sketch. And yeah, and, uh, I'll say, I'll say, Not go ahead, farm. go ahead and, and roll. I'll let you choose either a, a standard dexterity check or a performance check. Your choice. Uh, Are you do, dexterous at all? I'll do performance. <laughs> With can I guide myself? <laughs> yeah, you can. I just I pictured him like a 3D print, you know, like a sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. dot matrix. Dot matrix, exactly. <laughs> just to tear the edges off when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, here goes. Oh no. Thirteen. Thirteen. It looks like a woman. Um, <laughs> Which is good because I don't think I told you, woman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll say, we'll say sort of okay. the, the details as you can read them best you can. Okay. Uh, it, it, it leans to be more feminine form. Uh, you definitely get get the kind of shape close, uh, the hair a little bit. You know, it's it's just kind of vague and sketchy, uh, not super detailed, unfortunately. I this hand, but it's got a blade on it, so I was drawn no, left-handed. No, I'm sorry. That's, this is pretty good. I mean, it, it it looks like a dream person, right? I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't. I, I didn't notice. I've been watching you while you sleep, not in a creepy way, but trying to trying to be ready so that I could. I, I feel like I can I can connect with you while you're in a dream and maybe see what you see. You think you could do that? I I I do, but how do I time it? Right? Like I. Have no I, idea. The moon was flaring right when I woke up. In your dream? It, it, I was in the flare, and then when I woke up, the sky was. Was still orange. You recall something interesting when you noticed it in the sky. You felt drawn towards it. You didn't will yourself necessarily to the edge of the window, more than you just found yourself there. And as it flared, there was an ever so deep, faint. Yearning. A pull. Well, I don't know if that means that the moon was just going through something tonight and maybe it affected you, or the other way around? No, there's no way I would. No. 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 Are you all right? Yeah. It didn't feel, um, I mean, it was, it was terrifying, but there, there was something d different about it. Different good or different bad? I don't know. 
Well, how about this? Next time you sleep, not in a creepy way, I'll watch you and maybe be ready to look in. How would you know? I was having a nightmare right in front of you when you were awake. How do? But how would you know? But your eyes sometimes like go go all all loony when you're. Oh, do they? Well, everyone's does. I, I've I've looked at all these folks while they've been sleeping, not in a creepy way, and and <laughs> <laughs> and my my I don't think that my you know ocular receptors do that, but y'all's do. Not every night too, but Chetney. I look over at Lana and with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that always happens. She's like that all the time. <laughs> in fact, wide open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody has their own sort of sleep tell. Yeah. Um, Chetney, <laughs> Chetney's. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, so, sometimes his legs start. His legs start thumping. He's chasing toy makers. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Um, Ashton, sometimes his, uh, his, his brain glass starts to shine. Oh, yeah. Um, Fern, sometimes, every once in a while when she's asleep, like a little, like she'll, she'll start to, like some fur will grow, like she's turning into a, a, a an animal, then just comes right back, like, what? Right, just, it just hurts, it's like, you have to really focus on it. Just, it, when she's hot, like some hair will just. Fern's always hot. Orum, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> he, he, he toots. <laughs> he, toot, he toots. He toots when he's dreaming? Canon, I think so. <laughs> it's like Sopranos. It's twice so now. Small. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then your, eye, your eyes start darting back and forth. Mine seems relatively normal. Yours is the best else. one! Yeah. I haven't found out what Dusk's is yet, though. We'll I, have to watch her. Not in a creepy way. Yeah. <laughs> we both just, can I just stare at her for a minute? Oh. Yeah, maybe she's a talker. Monkey. Did she um. say monkey? That sounds like some tea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that sounds like some tea. <laughs> two lumps, two lumps of oh, sugar. She, she just has boring tea things. <laughs> tea and monkeys. Oh, those guys are so fresh. All right, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> boring stuff right there. I want, I want to tell Lana. <clears throat> but you can't because she's asleep. Well, she's asleep. But also because she talked to me about, she confided in me that y'all are maybe having a little bit of a tiff. Mm-hmm. Did she? She did, but she was very worried about it. I mean, I mean, she gave me a pencil. I, I think. <laughs> and an, uh, and, and, and a, a pot holder. A pot holder, yeah. yeah. A pot holder. <laughs> you just say it like that. She's, she's trying. She, she might not know how, but I suggested to her that, that you and she might want to just sit down together when things have calmed down a little bit and sort of be honest with each other and say what's on your mind. That's the best way to get through these things. Yeah. And I could facilitate that? Ma maybe, maybe, Just maybe. Just as a... If it, maybe. We'll see, yeah. third party, independent I know third party. It makes you feel really it good. Does. It's the thing that I do, so yeah. if I don't do it, I don't really have anything to do, you All know? Right. Yeah, so. then maybe I'll let you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's really broken up about it. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll try to get some sleep. I, I think I'm awake now. Sorry. I'm gonna make some tea with two lumps. <laughs> two lumps. Okay. You hear a creaking sound from up in the risen rafters of this central chamber. <clears throat> One of the bowing pieces of thick material that's used to block out the sunlight hangs and shifts slightly, moved, disturbed, and you hear <laughs> as a shadow begins to unfurl from above. As it does, you hear this faint, kind of a, a gentle screech. <laughs> and with that, you watch what looks like wings unfurl <laughs> and rapidly before 
descending onto the ground, not but five feet from where you stand. You see, through the green light, your eyes adapting the changes in hues based on the, the internal odd green coloration that it imprints upon everything, a, a deep red color to the feathers, almost like a, like a cardinal of some kind. As the figure stands up, you see before you a red ice fur, a uh, long pointed beak to the front, uh, their eyes kind of a, a pale sky blue coloration. Um, wearing a simple dark brown tunic with a, a light gray cloak that kind of comes to a point, the mid-back. Uh, simple uh, pantaloons that kind of stop at the knee where you can see the, uh, the claw-like feet themselves kind of grabbing onto the bits of tattered carpet that they landed upon before it looks up and head to the side. Huh. Ashton. <laughs> Look at you, you messy fucking bitch. <laughs> Comes forward, wings out, and just kind of like gives a big embrace. <laughs> Pulls back. What? Why are you here? Well, oh, that's a little complicated. I was actually, uh, I was actually hoping for a little bit of help for old times' sake. Maybe something that could uh, benefit you as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, and if worse <laughs> comes to worse. Um, there's always the orphanage, and I could hit that up and see what the fuck happens. What do you mean? Like, oh, you the orphanage, you were here? The uh, Graymore Orphanage. Graymore Orphanage? <laughs> Wait a minute. The, uh, your last name, Graymore, because you came from there, or like your family owns the Oh, my family's owned <laughs> I couldn't even get through it, shit. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, no, uh, any ward of the state who goes through the uh, Graymore home for the uh, untethered children. Uh, I kid you and fucking not. They give you Graymore as a last name. It's uh, supposed to create a sense of community, I think is what they would say. So, oh. Graymore kid's a Graymore kid. Got it. <clears throat> place is kind of a shithole, but you never know. Might be a good place to hide. Could be. Do you know anyone at the orphanage still? Oh God, I hope not. Uh, anybody I was in there with is either probably mm -hmm. long gone, and uh, God, most of the staff is probably long gone. It's not like I really gave a fuck about them either. I was not exactly uh, pleasant. What are you talking about, Ashton? <laughs> oh, I know, I'm charm personified. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there. Uh, I see business is, is booming, and um, re re remember me? I do. I'm. I'm surprised to see you. Um, well, uh, well, fresh cut grass, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's yeah. been a while, um, but I'm. I'm back in town with a new group of friends, and um, the weather's really nice. The weather is really nice. Yeah, there's not a cloud in the sky to be seen. Um, there are clouds on the horizon, actually. But uh, I appreciate that you maintain the same sunny disposition that you had. For so long, what are you doing here? Did she send you here? Uh, no. Um, sh she didn't. She's, um... <laughs> Sits back into the chair and, like, puts her legs boof, boof, onto the table. You see she has these thick fucking leather boots with, like, a wide bottom, all manner, like, uh, spikes off the front and, like, a big old stove, like, a steel toe in the front. Kind of sits back, grabs a bottle of already opened, looks to be some sort of a, a, a red, Type of wine or brackish liqueur, and just like takes a big swig and sets it down. On the counter. Go on. She, 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 she isn't coming back. Uh, she's not with me today. Um, good. That is good. That's good news, right? That is good yes. news. There's just you won't good be news seeing all her around. today. Um, uh, in fact, uh, funny, funny story. Um, you won't be seeing Dancer any anymore. Um, uh, she she was uh, she was brutally murdered. Uh, what? You have a nice shirt. It's so beautiful. It really brings out the color of your eyes. How when? Uh, uh, a, a few months ago, um, uh, we were doing a job, and um, they got her. Um, they they got ev everyone, really. <laughs> the 
just spits the wine all over your face. <laughs> ah, you're a filthy liar like she was. Oh. No, but seriously, what is this about? She signed you in here? I saw her like a month ago. I'm sorry, what? What, she came in here wanting to connect old ties and was like, hey, hey, I'm sorry about how things went. And, you know, it's a rough time to go around the world and all kinds of bullshit up north and stuff. And, you know, I was, uh, should have sent her packing. It's not like history would have told me, you know, she's kind of a really good manipulator, but you know that. Pulled those heartstrings, among other things. But, you know, once things got a little too intimate, she bounced again. The fucking bitch. So if you see her, please tell her, don't come back. I'm going to fucking cut that cunt. <laughs> Um, this, did you say, when, when did you see her? It was, did you say a month ago? Yeah, about a month ago. Huh. She, are you? That's a great shirt you're wearing. I'm not wearing this <laughs> one. Um. The pa- your legs are great. She came back here. You saw her, you talked to her. Oh, I did more than talk to her, little friend. Oh. Wait, you mean, ooh. Um. <laughs> Wait, so you know you're sure it was her? I'm sure, only one person does the thing. Yes. <laughs> did she have others with did she have the others with her? Was it was, was no. Axer here and, and Terowin and No, it was just her what? Any of the uh, other 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 bots? Uh, no. I mean, it looks like you got one of the pieces right there, right? That pussy's old buzzsaw, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> what a phrase. <laughs> Do you, are you... She didn't have any of her companions with her. She had a new arm, that was pretty crazy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Big old metal arm, kind of cool. Mm, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe she, she survived. And 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 that's why she has a metal arm because she. But we saw, I saw, I saw everything. What did Look, you? Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so intense. I just assumed you were, you know, delivering a message or an apology that wasn't heartfelt at all. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's all. This his. Uh, yeah, just. She wanted to say sorry, I guess, um, uh, for running out on you, I guess. So she did send you. Well, what a lovely store. I don't. Thanks. I have a, what? A, what? Um, I was gonna ask. What are you? What? How did you know dancer? You guys were a thing. You dated. Is that I what I'm uh, gathering here? You could say that, yeah. Okay. We were entangled. Oh. Okay. What is she here? Is she here? Anywhere yeah. in town? Did, where, did she know where she went? I don't know. After the last time I saw her, I screamed at her loud enough. I assume she went way away. Did she say she was after something? Running from something? She didn't tell me much about anything. Did she buy anything? Fix anything? No. She kind of came in, stayed for a few days, and then. Uh, did what she does. Vanish. Did she give leave any hints to where she might possibly be going? Hopefully far away from my shop. Um. Wow. Well, I came here for uh, other reasons, but um, sorry, I'm, I'm just a little shocked uh, that she was here and and didn't t- and didn't tell me. That's all. Um, she's smart. She's still in town. She's probably at the ends. That's where our other friends used to be. Yeah, of course. I know the ends. Um, yeah, I'll probably just swing by there. She's probably waiting for me there. All right. Well, if you see her, tell her she's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and that she should not come back to see you. Yeah. Tell her that. Okay. Unless she's like, you know, ready to apologize in person, maybe. Did you used to run with someone named Dancer? I did, yes. I knew it! I knew I'd seen you before! <laughs> Why, do you know her? Have you seen her? Uh, we, we had kind of like a... I've always thought she was 
you know, friendly, talented, but she never really took a shine to friendship with me. So we kind of had like a, it's kind of like a playful rivalry, if anything. Very talented, very talented art, artificer. And uh, uh, I mean, I, I remember you because when you came through on that 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 trade caravan, I, I I wanted to pick you up originally, but I was down with a large investment at the time, and by the time I, I tried come, to come back I to pick you up, Dancer already oh, nabbed you. I didn't come in a trade caravan. She built me. No, no. No, no, because I, 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 I almost, almost bought you myself, but I. Did I look like this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, if you don't mind, like you are, you're like a grade A scavenged automaton. Like the 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 quality of a fine here. This is this is like pre divergent stuff here. This this is what obviously. Does that mean? I thought it was originally like like an oval like Avalier design, but this is like this this the, the sentience already tells me this is like straight up A automaton. You are a relic, and. Uh, if 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 dancer still uh, considers you under purview, the, you don't even know how much you're worth. Not just from a research standpoint, but just monetarily. But what does that what, what is does that Aorimaton? mean? What is divergence? Oh boy. Oh, that's a long conversation. You're 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 a relic of history. Like even just like the designs here, the uh, the power grooves here, the, the overall design, the. the your speech, your your sentience. This was. It's, it was assigned to me by by dancer. She she built me out of spare parts. Okay. Is that what she told you? There are some in recent years that have been uh, coming online, if you will. Uh, some uh, others. Other automatons like you, uh, scavenged out of ruins and and found and. Uh, long hidden chambers and vaults of history of Exandria that have kind of been awoken, reawoken. Where was the train caravan coming from? Uh, I don't know specifically. We get all sorts of odd traders coming through here. And was he like this? Oh, no, you were disabled at the time, but. Uh... Were these there? The, the, the grass, the scrapes in the front? I don't remember. That was that was a couple years ago. Years. The heist that you guys were doing was that just a cave system or was that like ruins? Cave system. I think it was just a cave. Cave. We were caves. supposed to go in and there clear out. I don't know what was in there, but it was it was just a it was a mo like a creature that we were supposed yeah. to clear out. Please don't don't misread me. Like I, this all comes from a place of absolute respect and just just professional. Interest and wonder. I, you know, when you were the one that got away at the time, and uh, what, just what the fate of bringing you, know you back here is incredible. about bringing someone like him back online. And and letters is different than anything else we've seen in this city, or really. Oh yeah, anything no. Anything I've seen anywhere. You're saying that 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 letters is from that long ago. I mean, I have no confirmation, but from the. Reading and studying I've done this. Why don't I remember anything? I, I can only tell you that it. Maybe you went to the Feywild too. Maybe time <laughs> took its toll. Do you, I mean, do you think that. Is there a way, like, to. re start him? Like, maybe, maybe Dancer. Erased something. I could look into it, but that would be an extensive bit of research. See, so understand what the reason I'm I'm, I'm going to the Ormaton is that there were automatons of, of incredible designs in, in ancient times, like like all spectrums of builds and, and capabilities. Uh, part of what I do is just trying to to rediscover and essentially iterate on the scraps of that time best I can, along with other compatriots and individuals that. I mentioned earlier this kind of you know tinker trade that we do, but but all of them were like all the other automatons you see. They they perform functions. They are they are not living things. But you, the folks of Aeor, managed to bring sentience to their automatons, and eventually they they fought for their freedom. And then these Aormatons became citizens. And they were they were the only source of folks like you before it uh, 
fell. And for a long time, most folks thought that they were gone, that you were gone. Past five or so years, though, there's been whispers, rumors that some have been showing up, waking up. So there's more people like you. I also wonder what happened in the last five years to make that happen. Yeah, why, why the past five years? I don't know. In the past five years, they've been waking up? From what I've heard. Well, the first I heard about it was about five years ago, yeah. When was the last time you saw a dancer? Oh, uh, maybe a year? Yeah. And, and these others that are similar to our friend, that are coming online, what part of the world? I mean, I haven't seen them personally. You were the first to come through here, which is why I was so excited. That's why I thought I remembered you. Um, but you've heard of others. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've heard rumors of, uh, like, Eastern side of Taldore, I've heard in Wildmount, I've heard, uh, I heard one in Silra that, that may have come on as well, but, like, these were all rumors. These were all exciting rumors. Was, so anyway, all that to say, uh, it's genuinely really special to see you again, and if you ever have the inclination to let me carefully and consensually inspect your capabilities, I would be very interested. Dancer didn't seem to like you very much, but you seem okay to me. Um, your dancer was a bit abrasive, and to be fair, I'm not the most uh, outgoing person either. I'm kind of married to my work. If we make it through this, may maybe uh, we could spend some time doing that. That would be fantastic. I mean, goodness, could you imagine if we could if we could discover what the what the great artificers of Ao were able to uncover to, to, to create life like you once more, that would be... I just want to know who I am. I just want to know who you are, too. All right. Um, well, smiley day. I guess we go. Well, with anything, would it hurt him to... to check in there and, and look at... Oh, I wouldn't want to at all. Maybe, maybe not right now. Yep. You're right, I'm, I'm sorry. In the future, if that comes, I was just seeing if there's any, you know, repercussions to do it. I would do everything in my power to ensure I didn't. This is, this is different than, than cobbling in my workshop. This is, this is a conscious living being. Yeah, yeah. You're not this is nothing new to us. No. Hey, or my dog. We should find out more about Aor. Yeah, whatever the fuck that is. Okay. <sighs> Thank you so much for your time. Can I just message you, like, if I'm bored and just want to talk? Sure. Cause... Are you okay, by the way? You got really intense with Ashton back there. Well, yes, I, uh, I separated from Imogen, and you know, if something happens to her, especially because we're kind of fighting, and I don't want to end on a sad note. You guys have known each other a while, right? Yes. Like quite a while. Mm-hmm. Have you weathered a few storms? This is like our first really big fight, you know? There's been times where she's like, ooh, what if we like put up these drapes in this way? And I'm like, ooh, let's, you know, whatever you want, I guess that's fine. Or she's like, ooh, you should like put the cups upside down so they don't collect dust. And I'm like, well, but then the rims are touching the shelves and that's gross. And right. so there's been like little things, but not like this. Well, cool. um. Well, I don't know every nuance, but <laughs> she seems to care about you. Mm -hmm. And you're clearly care about her a lot. Yes. I, I mean, uh, maybe just breathe through a couple of days and, and whatever happened, give her a chance to process it on her own. And I don't know, she's capable too. I mean, she, she's the most capable. She is the most capable. She flew off ship and caught me before I hit the ground. It's true. I just, I've honestly gotten a lot of like mixed um, advice as well. Um, 
So it, it's hard. I don't know if I should like approach her or give her space, and I don't want to like be overbearing. And Ashton said I should just get her a new rock. <laughs> I've found any good rocks in this whole stupid city. Well, maybe just give it time. <sighs> All right. Give it time, I guess. 